you don't look at your needle. No. guys hope you can hear me um this is my last day of dialysis just before i do transplant um they're taking a sample of my blood yeah So Check in your profession. Okay. That's why I'm waiting. You're putting the next needle? Hmm? The next needle? Yeah. Okay. Let me put the next needle. Yeah, thank you all guys for your support and prayers. Um, it's not been an easy journey here. Um, right now I'm in Swedish on the 11th floor. I think you can be able to see outside my window. It's kind of gloomy today. But hey, 
still a good sign, but um, after a long wait, we are coming to the conclusion of the matter. So I'm really excited, even though it's been painful journey, I'm still very excited. Mm. 5.6. So it's bad, right? It's, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's kind of high, but it's deep. It's not too high for a transplant. It's like this 5.4. Today is 5.6. So that's why we want you to get to antibiotics to get it lower, you know? Okay. But that's not too bad. But after the analysis, it should be good. Hmm. Oh, you do mind holding it. Okay. Yeah, so you will get it. Yeah. Can I start here? Yeah, we're starting the cleaning process because my potassium is too high. Uh, it's supposed to be in the fours, but it's in five point five right now. It's supposed to be uh, four point something when you're doing a new a transplant because a new organ in your body needs to find you neutral, like the way you're created. <laughs> so, so yeah, we saw the process of cleaning the blood. Normally, they draw water from me, but today they are not drawing water from your body. Is actually one of the uh, most worst. Uh, not the easiest process, uh, but today they're not drawing any water from me. It's just cleaning blood. That's why we see renal failure uh, patients. They normally uh, size on their water intake uh, because it's a very painful process to remove your water from your body. Cleaning is fine, but um, what we call uh, pulling the uh, water is very, very uh, draining. But this process, I believe, will go swift. It's a process of three, hour three hours. So by the time we're done, we'll be ready for the transplant. A transplant process is going to be like um, three hours. That surgery is going to be three hours. So um, keep praying for me. Um, yeah, and um, if you want to support me in any other way, you're welcome to do so. Because I'll be here now for four days, then I'll be off for two to three months to recover. It takes two to three months to fully recover. So I'll be home just chilling and waiting to get now uh, fully recovered. Um, but I believe God's timing is the best. I, one of my first songs I ever did was called... Uh, is it working well? Yeah, yeah, it's good. But yeah. I just probably put a prop. Oh, okay. To get a better impression. Let me put it like this. Normally, normally they, they, they tell behind him, this side. Yeah, this, I know. Using the, the, the pressure is... You know, I, it flashes good, but the pressure is not the pressure I wanted. With me. What do you mean? Like more on this side? No, like um, the, the wrist tape to, to tape over here. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, the pressure is better if it's like this. Can you like this? Oh, okay. Yeah. I stay like that. Yeah. You want to put more on more that side. Yes.
you know, the tape is on that side because your machine might be on this side. Oh, but okay. Is, but the machine, it's up, yeah. It's okay, whatever is working. Yeah, it's better if you try this. Mm -hmm. See? The pressures are good now? Yep. Okay. Yep, it's, I think well, that's what you're saying. Yeah. It's like that because the machine is on this side. Okay. But our machine is. On the, on the yep. right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is the temperature? Oh, 36. Could you take it lower? No, what? 35. Oh, uh, no, that's too low. 35.5. Uh, maybe 35.5. Okay, but not 35. Okay. Okay. Because sometimes I, I cramp because of yeah, but two, no, two. I don't think you will cramp. Because there's no pulling. Because we're not pulling anything. Okay. So it should be okay. I know what you want because you tend to get cramping and low blood pressure. That's why you want the blood pressure in uh, that tent low. But you want, we want more fluid. So you should be okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's your driver? Um, normally, um, 54.4 so I guess that's your okay because you're only 54.3 yeah okay Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, you you I use uh, to do it. Huh? Bandit to do it. But uh, yeah, bandit is gone. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I uh, hope guys, uh, you're doing well. Thank you so much for your support. 
I'm just trying to broadcast so that uh, guys can see uh, dialysis. What is dialysis? What is the procedure like? And uh, this is just to motivate people out there. I know people pass through a lot of things. Um, but you cannot go through what you cannot handle. So just a motivation out there. Uh, keep uh, doing what you're doing. Keep um, pressing on. It takes time, especially when it revolves around patience. Yeah. It's taken me a lot of years to, for me to get to here. So I'm just praising God for that. That uh, his timing is the best. I was telling you guys, I wrote a song that uh, I didn't think it's going to talk to me. It's called Wasawake Nikabambe. Mm -hmm. So God's timing is always the best. Uh, and he makes provisions for all we need. Uh, ours is just to pray for his will. I know we like to, to pray. I decree and declare. But I, I always like to pray that his will be done because if I decree and declare, I don't know about even my next second. Uh, so I cannot forcefully take or suggest because even the next second is not ours. We can only say, let his will be done because even the Son of God who was uh, powerful as God himself prayed a simple prayer of let your will be done. Let your will be done. Otherwise, the Son of God would have said, I decree and declare I don't want to die on the cross. Take that thing away from me. <laughs> but he prayed a very simple prayer. Oh Lord, if it's your will, yeah, take away this cup. Yeah. So, um, it's a privilege to, to just go through some stuff because it reveals some inner strength that we never believed we had. I was looking at the Olympics and I was watching guys staying under the water, synchronized dancing for five minutes or more under the water. Their nose is capped like they can't breathe or literally. So, it pushes your body to do stuff. So, I was pushed, and I didn't believe that I have that inner strength to continue. But then this situation kept pushing me, that I was able to uh, just continue doing what I do daily. I'm going to try to switch this camera on the other side so you guys can see me. Hello guys, hello guys, uh, this is me tonight, actually it's daytime, it's 8.20 here in Seattle, Washington, um, we're in the Northwest Pacific, um, thank you so much for your prayers, um, the Bible says, the prayers of a righteous man, I it much, So I was talking about the, the inner energy that we have and we don't know about it until it is tested. When I was watching the Olympics, Olympics is one of my favorite sports to watch. So I may, I watch almost all the sports, almost all. Yeah, so one of the things that I saw is your human body can do a lot. It's only that we don't test it. <laughs> Yeah, like for swimming, we talk about pneumonia, but people who go to Olympics talk about the impossibility, what your body cannot do. They try to do that with their body. So, your body can do impossible stuff. 
Um, sometimes it's pushed to the edge. And I wonder, will I manage? But I'm telling you, uh, you have some inner strength that you don't know about. If a lion comes in a room, that's when you can, you know you can be a Kipchoge. <laughs> You will never know if that lion <laughs> never comes. So uh, thank you, guys. Uh, if you have any question regarding the analysis, I can try to answer. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of shouts out here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they have to keep uh, the flow of the dialysis high. The temperature, I mean, the, the flow has to be high. So that's why they're trying to adjust here. Yeah, you can share this broadcast so the guys can see. Yeah, if you have any question, you can ask. Uh, they're cleaning my blood for the last time. Uh, before they do the dialysis. The good thing with uh, medical here in America, they educate you before. Right? Like yesterday, we spent like a couple of hours just going through what I'll need after the dialysis. And they told me that once they fix that dial, uh, the new kidney, it starts operating almost immediately. And they can tell it's working immediately when they uh, connect those veins, because these veins that they are going to connect, they're not going to remove any of my kidneys. So I'll have three kidneys. I'll have three kidneys with me. It's going to be on my right. So my right is going to be a little uh, not asymmetrical with my other side. So it's going to be a little swollen, but not noticeable. You're okay? You're just going to send blood, okay? Don't okay. move. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the nurses here are always very nice. You know, I mean, something you have to learn. Um, if you do something, love what you do. Don't just do because of money. Don't just do because you're forced. They get, like, they can, they can help you, like, a hundred times. They won't get tired. Like, I can tell them, I've just my, my arm. I can tell them uh, anything I want, but I have to be also fair, not to just be disturbing because they are nice. Yeah, the medical practi practitioners here are very nice. They are, I'm telling you, I, very good people. I meet very nice people, people that uh, it's in their hearts to help. So I was telling you guys uh, here today, what we're doing, my potassium is kind of high. It's in the 5.5 zone. It's supposed to come down to 4. Because in the new dial, in the new kidney, they don't want to have issues. Because it's a new organ. My body is not used to it. It has to find all uh, neutrons uh, neutralized. My blood is clean. So that's why they have to do a cleanup. They have to do a cleanup, a thorough cleanup. And uh, normally in dialysis, they, they do two things. They clean your blood and they draw water. Because most of the people in dialysis, they, don't, they cannot pee. By the way, it's a miracle to pee. <laughs> you never pee. So I pee, I pee very little once in a while. Yeah, and that's why I always tell guys, no fluids, no fluids. People offer me, what, what are you going to drink? No, nothing. I don't drink anything. And um, I always tell guys, uh, when you drink too much, you're giving yourself too much work. Whenever they are going to be pulling the fluids, you'll be so uncomfortable. There's going to be pain. There's going to be uh, muscle pain. They call it. They call it cramping, and I'm telling you, serious. You cry, you cry. There's always ambulance outside. One person, two people, 
they don't finish the three hours. They have to end up in hospital. So when you take too much fluid, you insert yourself pain whenever they're going to be removing the fluids. So, but tonight, they're not removing any fluids. I came, I do take a lot of fluids. I was so particular. I had a wedding uh, Saturday. This call was supposed to come on Saturday, but I was like, I'll pray it doesn't come. Otherwise, I would have left my wedding. Uh, I was doing an MC job, so I was like, if it comes, I just leave. Because they need you to be in the hospital at least one hour when they call you. And if you don't pick up the call, they give the kidney to somebody else. Because you know what happens is you're, you are in a um, transplant list every time they get a kidney for you. And these kidneys are for the people who die, like random people, young people who die maybe in a motorbike accident. In America, people write in their will that they're going to be donors. So, like me, uh, I've written that I can be a donor, like for you know, any other uh, organ that will be working. I can become a donor and I can donate. Uh, because there's no need to go with uh, you your organs, when they can help somebody. Uh, yeah, there's no need to go. I know it's it's something we don't preach about in Africa, but uh, uh, why should you go with your organs when you can help somebody? Uh, and when we talk about uh, you... Uh, documenting down that when you die, you're going to be a donor. It's not wishing yourself bad luck that you're going to die the next following day. No. You have to believe like goodwill people. Uh, people of good wishes. So that uh, you can help a people like I've been helped by somebody I don't know. Somebody who does not know me has helped me elongate my life. Somebody I, I don't know about. Somebody I will never thank them because I don't know even their family. And I think it's a good culture. And it's uh, if you decide you're going to become a donor, it's for free. It's volunteer. Here yeah, it's illegal to buy any organ. Because I used to hear people tell me, girl, you need to buy a, a kidney in India. A lot of those kidney failed because you pay somebody, you're not sure if they're going to become your real match. Then they do the testing because they don't decide. It's the doctor who decides. They, they do a lot of tests. They do a lot of tests. So um, you can't pay anybody prior to their testing and doctor saying they, they need to become a donor. So basically, what I'm, tell, uh, I'm trying to tell you is, if you have to offer your organ, it's for free. Don't, don't be like, I have to be paid for that. No. Because here, actually, for living, there are two ways to get a kidney. One is how you can get a, a living donor, either your family. But if your family is abroad, like for me, my family was abroad. It was so hard for them to come to the U.S. to do even the check. Uh, and you see, they have to fly here so that they can be tested with this hospital because there is no affiliation with Swedish and any other hospital in Kenya. So it's a, a hard process to even decide. Uh, so you have to keep looking for people, living donors, who will agree and once you agree, you fill a form online, which is like a 15 minutes form. Then uh, once you do that, you start a vigorous a test. You do a lot of tests to be, decide that you're going to become an, a match. And they even ask you if you are coaxed or you were paid. 
So here, it's illegal to do that. You cannot pay somebody to give you a kidney. Yeah, and I love that culture because it has to be from the heart. Yeah, it's not a bad thing to donate your organs because you're elongating someone's life and there's no best gift in this life like elongating someone's life. I would love uh, the time I will go. It's not soon, but give someone your corner so that they can see there's a lot of blind people. They just need a new corner. Why should ants be feeding on my corner <laughs> when I can give somebody? So um, that's basically my preaching. Let's be God as keeper all the times. Uh, and um, that's what God has called us to do. He says, don't just preach using words. Use words only when necessary, but use mostly action. So like this person, maybe they were not even saved, they were not even born again, but they decided in their heart, hey, when I pass on, I want to donate my organ. I don't know that person. So it's only that sometimes human beings like to be acknowledged. But just do something, whether they will acknowledge you or not, whether they will applaud you or not, whether they will pat you on the shoulder or not, do something because you love it. So this process is possible because somebody decided, hey, when I pass on, I'm going to become a donor. And that's the transplant list I was talking about. Transplant list, you're put in a transplant list for a duration of uh, three to five years. And uh, you have to qualify. Here in America, you have to qualify to, to, be, to, to do a transplant. So, for instance, me, I am qualified because you don't... Uh, engage in uh, maybe like drugs, you don't engage in uh, alcohol, those ones count, they count because they don't want to put a, a, kid, a kidney, then it fails. This whole process is so expensive, it's over $250,000. Yeah, so they're very particular in their operation, they want to do something that will last. And in this hospital, they give you even the st statistics of their past uh, operations. They do almost uh, 8 to 10 in a day. 8 to 10 daily kidney transplant. And they tell me that 99.9% .9 they are always good. They don't fail. So some people will ask, uh, what if there is complication to a living donor. Yeah, there might be complication, but not very, not very, uh, rarely there is complications. But they check a lot of those. They check if, in case they remove a kidney from you, you're a donor, will you be of good health? So they check a lot of uh, things that and components that will decide if you can become a donor or not. So even go through a counseling process. And um, it's systematic here. Everything is so systematic. So um, I'm so I'm getting tired of holding my phone with my hand. <laughs> I'm using my phone, by the way. Uh, let me do some of the... Beatrice Karanja, thank you so much. Uh, Chimtai, minor quick recovery, thank you so much. Andrew Johnson, thank you so much. Uh, guys, you can, you can also take this opportunity to go to my YouTube and subscribe. I've been pushing a lot of my YouTube's content, and I know I've been boring people with links here and there, but uh, dialysis has been expensive, and I've been looking for ways to just get an extra coin here. So 
and YouTube is one of the ways where I've been posting comment, uh, content that can help brothers and sisters in Kenya or here in America. And by you watching, you're helping me uh, to get I think something because the dialysis, even with the insurance, you, 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 I used to pay like 2000 you, you get a bill of $2,000, 500 here, uh, 2500 there. So I guess it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I thank all the Kenyans for supporting me. Yeah, so if you need to do my cash up, I even some Kenyans who are very nice to me, they've already opened a cash up. I mean, uh, a group on uh, WhatsApp. So if somebody can uh, post it and pin it in the comment section, that would be nice. I can't have, type with, with one finger. I'm holding the phone. I don't have my stand. So if guys can post that uh, link over there for uh, the WhatsApp. This is my cash up at Gary Wanaina. Go to my YouTube, subscribe. That's long term. Uh, that's how you can support me. Yeah. Because I'll be now inactive. No work for almost three months until I recover. This process takes... I'll be in the hospital for over four days, but then I'll be released. And I'll be home... I will need a, a caregiver 24 hours. Uh, so I pray that I can find a way at least to bring my family because I cannot afford to pay a caregiver 24 hours for three months. I cannot afford that. Yeah. A caregiver is paid at least $15 an hour, at least $15, now, $15 every hour here in America. So for 24 hours, that's how much? That's a lot of money. I cannot afford. But uh, I know I'm still trying to work how I can get at least one of my family members to come and help me out. Yeah, but um, I'm also thankful for my wife and my in-laws. They are beautiful people. My wife is just next door. She just came, She's, but she could not sleep here in the hospital. She's in a hotel somewhere five minutes from here. So I believe she's also watching this. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Uh, this this, YouTube, this uh, video is also on my YouTube, so you can go on my YouTube and share it. Uh, yeah, and the good thing... Uh, I know the bills here. I'll not be talked to about the bills here. They, they come like three months after. Yeah. The good thing with America. They don't talk about bills. I don't know even how much I pay here. They, it's something, it's not in their, it's not in their scope to talk about. So normally, I will just get a letter like three months when I've forgotten already about it. Yeah, and then that's how you see bills. You are like, your your jaw drops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm here for three hours. This is dialysis I'm doing. That was can see. So I'm using a fistula. So normally you find that my my arm is swollen because I have a, a vein underground, underground my membrane. I have a vein that is there permanent. It will not be removed. Such that if this kidney does not work, I will continue with dialysis. So it's like an ingrained vein and an artery. Because dialysis is a very heavy process. That blood is drawn in a, a, a bigger capacity. So normal veins cannot do that. So they have to put artificial veins in your system. Uh, that's why I, I agree with science. I agree with science because I don't know. It's somebody who thought about that. 
somebody went to school and they were given knowledge and they came up with these discoveries that a normal vein cannot uh, allow good flow of dialysis because they take your fluid, they take your blood, they, it goes to this machine over here, it goes to that machine for over three hours. So a normal vein cannot, it will, it will stick, it will stuck, it will get stuck. Sorry. So um, it's uh, vital that um, they get that external uh, vein so that it can get your blood quicker uh, to push it to this machine. So it's like a small heart. There's a small heart on my hand that pushes the blood. It pushes the blood so that, because uh, if it's veins, you know, sometimes you can look for your veins and not find them. So you can imagine if I'm going Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they are looking for your veins, they can't find them. This place is always there. Like when, whether it's cold, whether your, your blood is working or not. So uh, for your kidneys to work, they give you medicine that you'll be taking because this is a new organ in your body. So basically what you're talking about is sometimes your body can reject that, but they give you medicine that will keep uh, your body to accept the new organ. So I'll be able to pee again. Yeah! <laughs> I pee like in four days. Just boots. <laughs> yeah. And uh, sometimes uh, in two weeks, or I don't know, so you, it can sometimes go. So the thing is a miracle. If you go to the bathroom and pee, those before you grab a shaka Yeah. So for those who are asking my cash up, I can put it here. Uh, that's my cash up. Yeah, uh, people of goodwill, uh, Abby. It was not just the dialysis. Uh, uh, I mean, the dialysis bills that I have. Also, this process, I believe it's gonna cost some money. I'll, I'll have to be indoors for three months with a caregiver, twenty-four hours, three months to recover. So no work, no lifting, no anything. Probably I'll have somebody to shower me and stuff like that because your body is gonna be going through a healing process which will probably take some time but uh, as in kenyans people of goodwill you're a blessing to me uh you've made my journey a success you've made my journey flow uh i know some i've been doing weddings here and there events but i can tell you for a fact some days were not good i had to hide myself and go puke my heart out because my energy is out uh maybe i'm cramping uh especially that's why you see i stopped playing saxophone because i cramped a lot I cramped a lot because muscles don't... When you're doing dialysis especially, your muscles want to move. So I had to keep changing my position, especially when they're pulling the, the waters out. It's not easy. You have to keep moving. Otherwise, if you stay in one position for like uh, a long time, you, you start to cramp. And the cramping... The, we call that cramping here, we call it um, uh, muscle pull. And it's, it's hard. You will cry, my friend. Even if you're Monaume, you will cry. Yeah? So, guys, because of your prayers, because of your support financially, because of your... Just giving, calling me for those gigs. Like God our bless. I've cried a lot. Even when I received this call, I cried a lot. I was just coming from church. 
this call was supposed to come on Saturday. Because what happens is, when you are in a um, transplant here in America, you, in your, after your three, third year, you start receiving calls of offers. Like they tell you, you are number five. I uh, will have a kidney, but we have your number five. So we have four people ahead of you. They're going to try the first one, second one, third one. If it doesn't go to the first one, the second one. If it doesn't go to the second one, the third one. Like that. So uh, the first call I received that was the fourth. It didn't go to. It, it ended up not my, my kidney. It, en it ended up maybe the first or the second or the third. I don't know. Then the second call came on my birthday. Last week, last week, 7th, I received this call and I was apoplexed. I was excited. It was nerve-wracking. At the same time, it was uh, rejuvenating uh, to just receive that call. Because it's a call I've been waiting. And uh, it doesn't come. Some people would come in your first year, some second year, some third year some fourth year because waiting list goes for between three to five years so this is my third year and my third call yeah i believe preachers you have a someone there you have a someone there yeah the third year the third call <laughs> my gosh yeah? that's when things happen so when you're in the transplant list, you it's it's a nerve wracking for waiting because waiting is not an easy process. Uh, and when you're called, you're excited. Then all of a sudden, it's not yours. You get frustrated. You get uh, you start asking why a lot of whys. So uh, the thing is. The third call, I received it on Friday, and uh, it was so fast because it's just exactly one week after my second call. And they tell you, we have a kidney for you, but you are the fifth. You are the fifth person. So you see? So, um, uh, so that's Friday. They told me, I'll, I'll call you where, uh Saturday to let you know if you're if you're the lucky one. So I waited Saturday. I, I had even a, a wedding. I was MC. I was just my phone was loud. My volume was full. I had even my ear earpiece so that in case I don't hear, I can hear from my earpiece. So uh, I kept just MC, but my mind is sometimes is moving the day went i didn't receive any call anyway it was good because uh my client was also there I had, so it good it's good it, it went without me like actually getting that call so i forgot about it i thought maybe monday when i'm, I'm gonna get this call so sunday after church i get this call i'm like oh you're the lucky a person here, you're ready for transplant. So come tonight at 8 p.m. So I was so excited. I was so excited. I, I started to jump. I started to cry. I started to, oh my gosh. You know, waiting that is now finally coming to an end. So Uh, prayers have worked. Uh, people of goodwill have made my journey easy because, you know, even if they don't talk about money, there's a lot of money that is needed for these processes to, to, co to continue. Things like biopsy. So immediately after they do my new a kidney, they have to do a biopsy to see how it's going. I mean, they have to do a lot of tests. Every day I'll be coming here. That's why they need you to leave 
uh, like th- between 30 to 45 minutes with your hospital uh, for the next one one month. So they they have like scrutiny, they check you to see your kidney is working. Yeah. <sighs> I wish I broke my stand. This thing is holding this phone is getting tiring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, three means Trinity, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank you, Shiro, Jirani, Asante Sana. Captain, God bless you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Dimo Akimi, Asante Sana, Doreen. God bless you. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm really excited because uh, now after this process of dialysis or cleaning, uh, removing all the toxins so that uh, when this new kidney comes, uh, finds a prepared way. So uh, that's basically what we're doing right now. So, Favor Janet, thank you so much. All the way from Finland, God bless you. Uh, Carol, thank you so much. I decided to come live because I'm able to read the comments because I uh, there's a lot of messages that are trickled. Already, the the post I put had have a lot of um, like over one thousand comments. Uh, over 1,000 likes. Guys are wishing me well. That's just my page. On Instagram, I posted. It has so many comments that I cannot even respond. Uh, just feel appreciated. Feel appreciated. Feel appreciated. Feel part of this. Feel like it's your victory. Feel like it's uh, you winning. Uh, I watched one of a very moving uh, Olympic uh marathon race and that's one of our own uh, won that race uh and uh, he won this race like five minutes after <laughs> five minutes afterwards that's when we were seeing the next person coming and this next person was calling on his uh okay not his countrymen but is like from the same country but running from uh, for a different country he was calling them, calling his brother, come on, let's finish this race. Uh, you need to win a medal like me. So, it really motivated me, and that's how we should live. And you know what? On the finishing line, it was this brother from Kenya, not from their country. Yeah, You know, he would he'd wished that it's his countryman who is going to be number two, but because of his big heart, he was just there hugging them, congratulating them, even if they're not from our country. I learned a lot from that video, but that's how we should live. Uh, if somebody wins, let it, that, let it be your victory as well. Because if you took part in praying, if you took part in any form of support, let it be your victory as well. Celebrate that person. Usikuunaskiliya mtu hivu, like, atiena win. As a matter of fact, if they're winning, it evens your body, your burden. If somebody is prospering in their business, uh, it gives you, uh, now, a better, your pocket keeps the money that you earn, because otherwise, if they don't win, they will come from, uh, for you to help them. So, and that's why we started this YouTube channel to just tell it as it is. Give people information. Because you ask a lot of our brothers sometimes and they cannot tell you even a nice shot. They cannot tell you where they got it from. If you ask an American, they tell you, I got this from Walmart, it's $6. You can go to Target, it's cheaper. 
They tell you where it is. And that's the culture we want to cultivate. Being truthful, being like, it doesn't hurt to help. So, uh, you find guys here, I don't do a job worker, by the way. They are not saved, but they, are, they just have nice spirit. You ask them something, they tell you as it is. They tell you to start this business, you just need this. You, this is the capital where I got it. And, uh, but you ask some of our people sometimes, they will tell you, Nega, na your story may she apple. It's Jesus, it's Jesus, that story is. But let's learn to help because when you help, you're doing it to you. You're doing it to you. You're doing it to self. Yeah, they say, tend away my name as I Don't wait even for the part on the back. Just do it, and uh, your reward is greater. Your reward will, will be much greater. There is nothing you lose by lighting someone's candle. As a matter of fact, the light bearing will be greater. It will be much greater. So, uh, yeah, let's keep supporting each other. Uh, if you have a business, I will support you. Uh, if you are ailing, I will support you. Uh, sometimes we just say, I'll pray for you, but you never pray. You just say that as a, as a cliche. Yeah? We have to be people of action. We have to be people of action. And that's how uh, our Christianity will be tangible. Our Christianity will be tangible if we become people of action. Otherwise, we become people of just talk, talk, no walking the talk. Yeah. Yeah, we are celebrating God's faithfulness. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Uh, God bless you for your prayers. God bless you for your prayers. So this process, um, I'll be here for some time doing dialysis. Um. It's gonna go for some time. I need to adjust my bed. I'm tired. Yeah. And I cannot move because of these needles. They need to uh, stay in that same position. So my hand sometimes even is, uh, my hand is frozen. <laughs> But hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I have Mukenya Marikani. Go subscribe to my channel, and I have uh, Gary Wainaina. I'll be posting a lot of uh, music once I get better. I'll be posting uh, some sax music, inspirational music. So, um, go support me there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've been posting a lot of links. But uh, I know when you're starting something, you have to push yourself. Yeah, some people will support you. Others will not. But it's okay. It's okay. Keep doing you. Keep doing you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what you Okay. Yeah, I wish I brought my stand. I didn't realize that I would go to I would do a live. Um, but anyway, it's good to catch up. It's good to be part of this journey. 
Yeah, so I've not done yet the transplant. It's gonna be some time. It's gonna be like in the next, I don't know, I've not been told yet. I see your guys. It's clear yet. Yeah. <laughs> I need some fluid or not. Yeah, so uh, if you have any questions that you think I can, you think I will, you would want me to answer, just ask. My, my lips are dry. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I think I, I... Oh, no, no, no. It's 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 just um snapping is just like the machine. But... Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's how dialysis happens. So this hand is so delicate. Whenever you talk and you you. If I tap my hand, it's really painful. So, just a disclaimer, don't tap my left hand when you're talking. It's always so painful. Yeah, because I'm telling you, <laughs> it's like a heart. They put a heart there to push the blood. So that's why I'm going to a kidogo. Yeah. <clears throat> And um, it will stay there forever. Uh, but if the transplant works, yeah, well and good. I will not need to use it again. But uh, I pray it works. And I know your prayer as well, if it's going to work. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Nguju wa maina asante sana. Zipuro Modoni, thank you so much. Morin Bibe, asante sana. Um, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for all your good wishes. I will be fine. I will be fine. I will be fine. Yeah. So, by the way, Jemo, I believe you're watching. If you can share this uh, uh, broadcast to the WhatsApp, to the WhatsApp, if you can share this to the group, the group they created, because some people will want to watch. Yeah, you can share. Or you can go to my YouTube, you can American, share that link to any WhatsApp group you want. It's much easier because Facebook sometimes says you have to log in. So go to my YouTube. I'm broadcasting this to my two channels, Mikan American and Gewenaina, whichever you've subscribed. Uh, and remember to click the bell so that anytime we post anything, you'll be able to be alerted. So you can post it on any group that we are on. Yeah, I can see. I told them uh, when I broke the news, uh, uh, a lot of people uh, cried tears of joy with me because uh, it's been like a community burden. And um, I've always liked this issue not to hinder my service to the community. So I've always gone from dialysis to a community event, sometimes bleeding. Like last two, two three weeks ago, I was playing in a, in a pastor's event. I went there immediately after dialysis and man, oh my, I was bleeding like crazy. 
I even started to get dizzy because the bleeding was too much and it never stopped. Like I woke up, my vest was all blood, was all blood. I was like, I was sleeping like this and I was like, what's this that I'm feeling so cold? I, I thought it's a dream. Uh, maybe somebody's sprinkling water on me. Then when I woke up, oh my gosh, it was blood all over. So, uh, that's that's the only risk with dialysis. Sometimes you can lose blood and even with transplant. But now that's how you you, you sign a, a blood transfusion uh, paper. That uh, imagine even blood transfusion. You have to sign a paper for it. They cannot uh, give you blood if you've not signed a paper. You have to because some people are like they react to different bloods so but i said yes i need blood if i need because if your blood is low uh it's a problem yeah so anytime you hear people are calling out for blood donation please do not be afraid it's only one pint yeah it, you would survive you will survive because now if for instance i miss blood they will just go to the bank and get my type and give me yeah and that's the good thing here the the blood bank is always like they like i want they won't stop like to start asking guys uh, hey come donate blood no it's already there and that's the good thing in America because they make sure their blood bank is always uh, refilled. Uh, so any anytime you hear that there's going to be a blood donation somewhere, please do it. Do it. If you're healthy, do it. Yeah. Yeah, you are helping somebody that you don't know. People lose blood by accidents. People lose blood when they're delivering babies. You know, and how good can it be when you become a helper, even unknowingly? Yeah. So, yeah, I'll be here for, right now, I don't know, maybe I've gone for, yeah, over one hour. So, two more hours to go. Normally, dialysis ranges. It can be two, three hours, or 3.5 hours, or four hours, or five hours. Depending, and some people, uh, you have to really watch your diet because if your potassium is too high, they won't do a, a kidney transplant for you because that's a, a, a regimen for fail, uh, failing. So they need to do a, a kidney transplant that will last. Yeah, so they want to make sure that. Uh, your set your blood is clean and uh, there's no like toxins that will hinder the process yeah asante sana ana irungu god bless you thank you for lifting me in prayers god bless you um yeah god of a second chance thank you so much yeah. Oh, what's that? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Jay Shi. Thank you so much. Yeah. Betty Mugi. Thank you so much. Claire Nyanga. Asante Sana. Asante Sana. Uh, Pastor Steve Magua. Asante Sana. God bless you. Uh, great Pastor. Uh, that teaches uh, very, very solid teachings. Uh, go support him. Go buy his book on Amazon. Yeah, that's how we support each other. Go support him. Go buy his book from Amazon. That's how we support it, each other. Don't just say um, to go pamoja and you're not. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Nzito. 
Uh, we are together. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Uh, praying for you. Uh, Santa Sana. Santa Sana, my friend. Masi Masharia, all the way from Rongai. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Oh. My throat is so dry. Unfortunately, I cannot take any water. I cannot drink any water. I mean, no fluid, no foods. Restriction. So since yesterday evening, I've not taken anything. I'm super, super hungry. And it's so unfortunate because even after the transplant, maybe we'll not be able to eat because now the stomach, the muscles are crumbled. Uh, they need like a rejuvenator. Like maybe I'll start with fluids. Yeah. So my stomach won't be able to hold much. But the good thing, I'll be able to pee. That's a celebration it's, uh, by itself. Asante <laughs> uh, sana. Asante sana. Charlie David, God bless you. From Doha, Qatar. Yeah. Mashmiwa, I like God. Asante sana, bro. Yeah, my pastor from Ayub, Kenya, Reverend Benson Mbari, God bless you and the people of Ayub, Kenya. You guys have worked with me. Great journey. Thank you so much. Uh, may God bless you. That's my home church, Ayub, Kenya, back in Eldoret. I'm so happy to see Reverend Mbari in the mix god bless you thank you so much for your prayers yeah uh thank you so much jirani it's gonna be well it's gonna be successful procedure in jesus mighty name yeah asante sana so v juma asante sana god bless you yeah Oh, Tenacious, brother from another mother from St. Andrews, my other home church. Yeah, when I came to Nairobi, that's where, that was my other home church. So I was uh, very active with music there. So it's my other home church. I believed I served in the capacity that I should have. Yeah, Dorina Najwa Yubukenwa, it's an Eldoret. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. David Gidinji, so much. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Lixin Gibuku, God bless you. I wish I had some music here to play because, oh my gosh. Um, if, if anyone wants to come in live, by the way, if there's a pastor who wants to come in live, Tell me, tell me, I'm going to share my link. I'm going to share my link. Uh, let me, let me, let me put a link here so that girls can join, by the way. Uh, let me put a link here so girls can join in live. Okay.
guys if you want to join live that's the link please uh, if you want to come in live click on to that link and i will accept you let's motivate people uh, If somebody can pin that, let me see if you can pin this by the way. Oh. I can't pin it. Okay. Because I'm not on Facebook. If, uh, if somebody has to pin it on Facebook. Pin, if somebody can help me pin the stream yard, the, uh, the link I, I posted there on YouTube, you can, you can, somebody can help me. It's also on my comments. Uh, you can help me pin it. Yeah. So that uh, anyone who wants to come live, we can pray. That will be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. That's the link. Go to this link and join. If you want to join, I will accept you. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. That's what is happening now. Cleaning the blood, cleaning the blood, cleaning the blood. Thank you so much. May God bless you. This is what God has been your Ebenezer. Even this, we'll see you through. Listen to the song by Natalie Lebesi. Love song, Wonderful Wonder. Thank you so much. I'll listen to that. Yeah. God will see you through. Thank you so much, Liz. Nam Nyak. Yeah, you go support her on YouTube. She has beautiful music. Yeah. <laughs> Kagesh, I see you. Kagesh, I see you. Kagesh, I see you. If I go to Amzungu uh, <laughs> Kidney, I'm going to go to Pole Pole. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, <laughs> Muna Mambo. <laughs> yeah, Shiro DK, thank you so much. Uh, so, guys, make sure you go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, it's Mkenya Marikani, Gary Wenaina. Yeah, that's the other way of supporting me. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Robert. Yeah, yesterday after our, our our meeting, I received a call that change. I'm waiting. It's gonna change my life, and I hope it's for good. Yeah, Jane, 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 my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, there are tenants here in America who really support me she's been here uh she's already been here yeah at least her she has an access to come so she's been here and uh thank you so much jane well 
ni wapaa watu sana ni wapaa watu sana yeah so um seeing a lot of messages coming in uh Eunice Njao asante sana may god bless you uh yeah ndoria asante sana god bless you my brother from another mother all the way in abu dhabi sam jenga thank you so much uh gary your prayers are with you the god of res res resilience is at work thank you brother thank you brother thank you brother uh, this is my in-law frida mbugwa the wife to my brother asante sana god bless you god bless you god bless you yeah yeah amen amen lili madenge who was, is also an author here you can support her by buying her book on amazon uh, let's support kenyans let's support kenyans who are doing amazing extraordinary things uh, one of them is lili madenge she's doing a good job a great job she's authored already a book that is dedicated to the boy child uh, an amazing story an amazing story there is a god in heaven who hears prayers dear renena he has heard you and is going to and doing it for you this will be a testimony my friend uh, thank you so much thank you so much so let's go support mother Lily. she has a very nice book about boy child mongi kimani <laughs> yeah so if you see me and you cannot recognize me because my melanin is changing <laughs> i will have to have a uh, like a name tag or so that you can know this is jerry and maybe na za kuwa kamzungu fulani hivi uweze jua but anyway jokes aside <laughs> humor is good humor is good by the way i love humor so i understand when people tease me with such jokes because even me when i get them i get them good <laughs> uh, yeah asante sana sera sera mwasia she's one of my top 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 fans on youtube she's amazing she supports me any youtube video i put she's almost the first one to watch and to comment because um, when you comment on comment on youtube it, algorithms of youtube pushes your song to more people if some someone comments they push to more of her friends or their friends so that's why we require you to at least like comment yeah so uh, as we as we go through this process uh it's good they're not re removing any waters from me otherwise i would have stopped this video by now because of late my dialysis has not been easy i've been cramping either i stopped before time because i cannot continue it's too much pain it's too much cramping it's too much like they have to start putting some liquids in you so I'm thankful that I asked them one question. Are you going to remove any liquids? No, they said no. So ah, I was like, ah, that's good. Because ah, it's not fun. Ah, it's not fun. Yeah, to remove liquids is not fun. My friend from another mother, uh, Nancy Nduru, thank you so much. I know you are one of my support system here in Washington. Uh, most of the jobs sometimes I get, she's the one who refers me. And I also refer her because she does decor. Very beautiful. May hearing be your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Master John, thank you so much. Yeah, I've seen your message, but I've, I've not been able to respond because as uh, so many messages are coming in but uh thank you so much thank you so much for your support yeah uh, 
So it takes like two to three months for someone to recover fully. So I'll be indoors. I'll be indoors throughout. So uh, I've had to cancel a lot of events. I was fully booked until December. I had to cancel a lot of events that I was booked. And uh, I never canceled events. But this is an emergency that we we had expected, but we hadn't planned for it. So, but it came it, it came in good time. So we praise God for that. So, my apologies to anyone I cancelled the event. I'm I'm really sorry, but uh, I believe you're celebrating with me. Uh, God is always faithful. This is a powerful testimony. One we've been praying for. Kenya Pamebaki, he will come through for you. Thank you so much, bro. Yeah, all the way from Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Anita Ann, thank you so much. You're one person I've noticed this name, and I like to see all your comments because you support me any time I post a video. You're one of the first people to comment as well. Anita Ann. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So, yeah, those who are joining in, I'm still in doing dialysis. After this is when I'm going to go for the big cut. Uh, the big knife is waiting for me at that, that day <laughs> after this. So, we're still push, 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 push. Pray, 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 pray. Yeah. Yeah, healing your portion. Thank you so much. Yeah. And um, ladies and gentlemen, what I can advise you, not advice, it's not professional. Uh, what I can say is, I know we believe uh, in the healing power of Jesus, but also uh, it's good to do checkups. Most of the diseases that... Uh, People, uh, as in cause demise, can be easily, easily uh, treated. Or, wa Swahili wana sema ni bora kujenga ukuta. I mean, mufa au uta uta jenga ukuta. Ni bora kuzida ufa au uta jenga ukuta. So it's good to. Actually, just do checkups. I know people are afraid because nikamu peleka garu kwa mechanic. Mechanic ata umepeleka na one problem, but mechanic ata kufia a thousand other problems with the same car. So make sure these checks are very important because, for instance, if they didn't know I'm, I'm kidney failure, we'll be talking of something else. That's my brother, Peter Mbugwa. Thank you so much. Uh, but when Jesus had it, it, he said, this illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. I believe God will bring you out of the hospital and everything will be fine and okay. Glory be to God. Yeah, thank you for that powerful message. Uh, my sister from another mother, Alice Lee's, Asante sana. Yeah. Yeah. Kosa Omwebu. Yeah. Very well soon as. Thank you so much. Uh, Bill. Yeah. One of my friends here also. Uh, she uh, she does hair with the Rafiki. Rafikis. I'm telling you, if you need hair in Washington, she's the person to go to. Yeah. Mary Washira, Asante Sana, God bless you. Uh, she was telling me uh, she cried tears of joy when she heard the news. And uh, it just goes ahead to tell you that out of people are genuine. And you will, in, your, in your way, you will find genuine people who love you and wish you well. 
So those genuine people, uh, may you discern them so that you can know this one is genuine and they are there. You need to keep them. Yeah. Because sometimes you brush off friends that were supposed to stay with you forever. Yeah. So thank you, Sana. Thank you, Sana. Sarah Moasia. God bless you. Kilosh. Hey, this guy. Asante Sana, bro. This guy was a great artist and still is. His energy was unmatched. Thank you so much. Yeah, a lot of artists from Kenya are watching. God bless you, Kilosh. Yeah, one reggae, vibrant artist. Yeah. Joseph Kiyama, one of the pastors here in Seattle, Washington. Thank you so much. May everything go well with you. Asante Sana. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, my voice is kind of going because I've talked for <laughs> one and a half hours just to bring you up to speed with what's happening. Yeah. Um, yeah, many favor. Thank you so much. Ahandi, Asante Sana, Asante Sana, Asante Sana. Yeah. My friend, my friend, my friend, uh, Santa Sana. Uh, Santa Sana, God bless you. All is well, all is well. Thank you so much. My sister, this is our first born, Milinganga, all the way in Nairobi. Uh, Santa Sana, God bless you. Uh, yeah, James Kagi, you're doing a beautiful job. Thank you so much. You pinned. Uh, James Kagi was pinned my cash up. It's at Gary Wenaina. Whatever the Lord leads, it will go a long way. Yeah, it's going to go a long way. So, yeah, I thank also my family from Kenya. We call, uh, They called me yesterday and all of us who were in our sub call. We prayed. Yeah, and uh, that was amazing. That was amazing. It helps. It helps. Yeah. Yeah, Mary, thank you so much. Yeah, and one epilepsy, Asante Sana, the law is not denial. Mungo Matenda, I'm so happy, my brother. God bless you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for your support. And when epilepsy has opened a uh, WhatsApp group, you can join that group. And, uh, after this, after my, uh, I'm, I'm well, maybe we'll plan for a Thanksgiving event. So I will bring you up to speed with what's happening. My sister, this is our last born. Jerry Nanga, Kebebi, Santa Sana, sending love, sending love, sending love. Uh, love received, love received. Sarah Moasia, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, thank, thank you, Sarah. Uh, sending love, Santa Sana, my friend Phoebe. Yeah. If you go to my YouTube, you can, American, you can be able by the way, to send this link, this live link to any WhatsApp group, uh, including the one I created for just supporting, sharing videos. Jacinta Reality, thank you so much. Uh, Santa Sana, Santa Sana, healing is your portion.
Yeah, uh, that's my YouTube channel. You can go and subscribe. Yeah, that's the image on Gary Wanaina. You can go subscribe. And then Kenya Marekani, you can also go subscribe to this channel. Yeah, that's how you can support us. Yeah, Margaret Hinga, thank you so much, my God. Healing power, baby, your, your portion. You have been really an encouragement to me. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. My friend from another mother, uh, uh, Stella Ngugi, we were supposed to do a live, but the timing was off, and uh, we will do... We'll do that live. We'll, uh, we'll do that live when time permits. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good. I'm the like coordinator, and I just wanted to kind of talk to you for a quick five minutes or so. Is that all right? That's fine. Perfect. Um, congratulations. That's just super exciting. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been waiting for a kidney for? Um, since 2018. Wow. That's that's when I was diagnosed with uh, stage five kidney nef nephritis. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, good. Three years in the making. So yeah. happy to see you here today. Yeah. So I'm one of the post transplant coordinators. My name is Lauren. Okay. Um, you had a pre transplant coordinator that's gotten you up to today. And after transplant, you'll um, switch to a post transplant coordinator. Okay. okay. So there's Tara, Allison, and myself. You'll mm. primarily be followed by Tara. Okay. But she doesn't work on Mondays. Okay. So I'm just kind of dropping this book off. I wanted to drop this binder off for you. Um, this is going to teach you everything you need to know about caring for your transplant. Okay. 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 So just kind of while you're hanging out, um, you know, before you go to surgery today and when you're recovering, when you're just lying down resting, I want you to start reading through this. Okay. Okay. Prior to discharge, we will sit down and go through page by page with of this book with you and your caregiver. Okay. Who's going to be your primary Can caregiver? Can we do this? Uh, my wife. Oh, my wife. Come on in. Yeah. Perfect timing. My wife is here. Hi. Hi. You made it. You made it. Yeah. Hi, my name's Lauren. I'm with the post transplant coordinator. Laura, perfect. So, um, I was just saying that. Um, do you go by Gary? Yes. Yes. Gary. Okay. So Gary had a pre transplant coordinator get him up to pretty much today, and then post transplant he'll get a post transplant coordinator. So you'll have a new kind of point of contact. Her name is Tara. She works Tuesday through Friday, so you'll kind of see me on Monday. How are you? Great question. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. 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 So, so at the Swedish kidney or where? Yeah. At, at the transplant clinic. Yeah. Oh, okay. At the transplant clinic. What kind of happens is we follow you pretty much exclusively for the first six months, and then we'll start to transition you back to your local nephrologist, but we'll always still be involved. Okay. So the next three months, we're going to be like this. It's going to be really close contact, okay? Okay. So this is the transplant binder. I want you guys to, um, this is yours to keep. Just start reading through it and in your downtime. Mm. And then on the day of discharge, um, we will come up and we'll go through this page by page, get you all your follow-up appointments, um, answer any questions, and just kind of make sure that you know everything you need to do to get the discharge, okay? Mm. Any other requirements like you Yes. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, typically for um discharge, patients end up going home on post op day two, which would be like Wednesday night. And that's as long as everything goes okay. As long as you're feeling well, you're you're walking, you're you know having bowel movements, all of that pain is well controlled. You know, you'll still be taking pain medications, but that um, you know, you're tolerating it and that should be able to get off and move around a little bit. Mm. Um, and then we have you follow up right back in clinic that Thursday. The very next day we get you to the outpatient. So we find that patients kind of feel better not in their home environment, and then we'll start. I mean, you're going to be following up about four times a week initially, and then that will decrease over the next kind of three months. That's twice for lab, twice for clinic, and we'll go over all of that on Wednesday. But um, I did want you to start reading through this. 
Um, I did include Tara's um, phone number in here too. So this is her business card. It's got her direct line on there. So anything you need, that's going to be the best one to call. Um, and then, so today's big day. After, you'll kind of rank the rest of today. But then tomorrow, they're going to get you up and they're going to get you walking right away. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. Okay. So the sooner we get you out moving, kind of the quicker you heal. So that's going to um, get your bowels moving, get your lungs moving to prevent um, any sort of infection, prevent blood clots in your legs, all of that. Super, super important. But you will always do it with a nurse. Mm. And they'll plan ahead with pain medication. So making okay. sure you have pain meds on board so you're comfortable to be able to do those things. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Um, what questions do I have right now? I'm sure there's a ton kind of swimming out. <laughs> wow. So um, what's the, what's the time for the transplant first? Oh, so I haven't been told um, the exact a lot of time yet. I apologize. But Dr. Reddy's nearby, the nephrologist, and he'll be talking in just a moment, too. Okay. Yeah, maybe he'll have more um, insights on that. Yeah. Visitor policy. So as the latest side for it's okay to have um, one person, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, is there a um, that's another question. I know so much has changed with COVID. It's so difficult to know where the current status is. Um, but our floor nurse will know that not very well. And it looks like you're calling with Asia. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to do great. We look forward to working with you guys. Congrats. This is so exciting. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. I'm going to leave this at your bedside. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. As, as of now, yep. So kind of what it will look like. If, yeah, and then I, did I go typically Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday? It's the typical follow up. And Sunday and Wednesday, Sunday and Wednesday are booked for my own, so that's an in and out. Okay. And then Monday and Thursday are actual Yeah. So that's kind of the regular schedule we'll get you on. And then as you continue to do well, we'll start to decrease your custody. Yeah, that's a great question. So for lab appointments, they're always going to be between about 8 and 9.30 in the morning. Because so it's time very specifically when you'll be taking medication. Oh. Yeah, it's okay to eat before, but it has to be before the morning medication. So it will be scheduled at 9 a.m. So when, when will I be able to eat? So you can eat... Um, do you mean like in the surgery and like after, after surgery? After surgery, yeah. So it kind of depends on how all you, how well you're doing. Oh, okay. like the next morning. Oh, okay. you know, get you started slowly. Clear liquids. If you do okay, then they'll advance them kind of quickly. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank, thank you. Thank you for the information. Yeah. I'm, I'm fasting right now. I'm hungry. <laughs> and then um, the clinic appointments will be sometime like Monday and Thursday. Sometimes usually between um, like nine and twelve. There's some flexibility. Occasionally, there's an afternoon appointment, but usually most of the morning. Okay. So, yeah, where we are. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
That's fine. That's. Hi. Oh, where's the camera there? Yeah. Bumblebee P, everyone. <laughs> I made it. It took me a long time to find parking and to walk over here, but thank God I made it. Didn't get a lot of sleep, but. Maybe, maybe you need to be closer to the mic. You want to take the mic? This mic? I. It feels weird wearing a mask and trying to talk through it at the same time. I don't want to pull your cords either. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, but we can do it on the well. Gary's yeah, putting me on the spot. <laughs> it's not the good news. <laughs> it's your first time watching me do dialysis. Yeah, I've never seen Gary do dialysis before. Yeah. Oh, do we have a doctor here? We have a doctor here. Okay. Hello. How are you? Thank, Thank you. you. Ready for surgery? Yes. Good. Is that working well, the catheter? Because your creatinine and BUN were so high. Um, let me let me cut this first. 